What is good everybody and welcome back to Builders of Egypt. For those of you who are new, I'm Katmandu. In this video we're going to revisit uh, Builders of Egypt. Obviously the game is currently not out, um, but I have been offered a chance to play test the latest version, which I'm more than happy to do. Uh, I did live stream at this game nearly three and a half years ago now. Um, so I'm really intrigued to see how far along they've come in that time. Obviously three and a half years is a long time. Uh, to still be developing the game but uh, obviously if, they, if they're going to make a great game I don't care how long it takes as long as they perfect it then it's good by me um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you do smash that like button and subscribe for me if you haven't already both the likes and subscribes really do help the channel out massively guys I can't stress that enough especially the likes but obviously the subs as well do help the channel out uh, massively uh, makes the channel grow uh, and all that jazz so yeah so if you please could hit that like button and that subscribe button i would greatly greatly appreciate it if you want to get in touch with me in the description down below is all my contact details go and check it all out as well as commenting on this video let me know what you think of the game let me know what you think of the channel any future game suggestions leave it all down in the comments man i'll be glad to read it if you want to hit that notification bell as well then you guys will get notified when we upload a video or when we live stream as well it's a very handy little tool indeed uh, without further ado, I just want to crack straight on with it because I'm very, very excited for this. Um, there is no campaign, obviously, at the moment because, obviously, it's not released. Uh, so we can do the scenarios here, which is nice. Uh, got just Builders of Egypt. Uh, oh, wow, okay. So there's quite a few scenarios. Look how... Wow. Look at all these scenarios here, man. Crazy. There's a few to do as well. Got one, two, three, four, and then that one's locked, but then this one, five. Oh, okay, so, ah, oh, so this one's unlocked. Oh, okay, so do we try this one then? I feel like I've done these. I think I've done, I think I've done the first two, I think. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't done these other ones, though. But let's try this one here. Join, it says this is part of the join play test. So maybe let's try this one. Why not? Why not? Absolute tons of scenarios there. That's great. Yeah, that's not going to give me a chance to read that, is it? Okay, we can go back up. Uh, so what's that? Neferu is the first pharaoh of the fourth dynasty. During his life, the pharaoh completed the construction of the pyramid at Mid Medum, which probably belonged to his father, Huni. And built two of his own pyramids at Dashir and South, uh, the South Pyramid called Bent or White and the North Pyramid called Red. The Bent Pyramid uh, rendered such a heavy monument that during its construction the ground collapsed causing cracking of the internal walls and the face of the building. This led the royal architect to decide about changing the angle of the pyramid. The pyramid was named Cha uh, Neferu. Or the flare of Neferu at that time. A plan was established for the arrangement of buildings accompanying the pyramid, such as the lower and upper temple. Uh, proces uh, what was that saying? Processional avenues. Okay. After his death, the king was worshipped in Egypt and Sinai. Uh, priestly colleagues were established at his pyramid, which ex uh, existed for hundreds of years in order to cover the needs of the uh, prosperous cult of the ruler in the Nile Delta. 35 royal estates and 122 cattle farms were created. Wow. That's a that's a big task. Okay. Excellent. I can't really remember a lot of this game, to be honest with you. So I'm hoping it's a little bit of a step-by-step -step type thing. Okay. Uh, Pharaoh Neferu is commanding you, the, uh, commanding you the construction of the Bent Pyramid at Dashur. Okay. Winning conditions. Monument building one. Uh, prosperity gather 25 export that much limestone or import that much granite okie dokie uh, early what does that say there early pre -beta, uh, beta version serious bugs may occur not final quality okay well let's just zoom out okay interesting so it looks like we're bound by this wall here which is that's fine Looks like we've got a road coming in here. Okay, is this sort of like roughly the area where they want us to build it then? See, I'm not being given any uh, help here, so that's a bit... Okay. Uh, so we've got demolish, house and roads, food production, sanitary, 
wear production, faith related buildings, administrative buildings, authority. Yeah, I should have maybe have done the first one again. That would have probably been a little bit easier. Uh, right, okay, so first off, I'm just going to go for my experience of city builders. Uh, so first off, the game was automatically safe. Okay, thanks. What's that? Uh, regional map. Yeah, see, I remember all this. This was cool. Okay, that's technology tree. Available in full version. Military tab. Okay, how do we get... Oh, I was going to say, how do we get back? Right, okay, right. So first off, I want to get some houses, I think, for people. Uh, I want them sort of quite... Oh, we're sort of bound by that wall anyway, really, aren't we? Okay, so we'll have the houses maybe set back a little bit. Uh, I think we can rotate. Uh, let's do some houses then. It's going to do four for now. Incoming dwellers, here we go. They're all just uh, rendering in there. Coming to city, I can't find a job. Wow, that's got quite a lot of people coming in there. I don't know if I'm mad on that. Um, I remember this game looking quite nice, to be fair. Quite beautiful looking. Uh, we're going to need some food production, I think, straight off the bat as well, to obviously feed them. Uh, so what have we got here? We've got a fishing wharf, we've got a wheat farm, lettuce farm, chickpea farm, or a cattle ranch. Uh, what is... Okay, cattle ranch is quite cheap. I'm trying to find what's quite cheap, really. Okay, if I have that going back that way, we have food going... Oh, wow, this has got like a... area here hold on let's hold off on that a sec what about so is that circle the whole area I think I was gonna say I think we can only build this in certain areas I think is that the same for letters then Okay, so that's picking up as corn there. So we can do corn down here. I'm going to put it right near the, the wall there. Uh, and then we'll have to do a road coming to it. Okay, we're going to have to have our farm down here then off in the distance. Okay, that takes 10 workers. Okay, so we're going to need a few more houses, I think. Because these only hold 5 people. Okay, well, if they're all available... Can I get someone to come down here? Not enough workers. Well, c can they... Uh, there must be a key here then. Available workers is 20. Is it too far away, maybe? Well, let's put a cattle farm down as well. Leave a bit of a gap. There you go, that's being built. Why? Why would this not be built? Stop working, shut down. I mean, I guess it could be because it's too far away. I guess. Um, wages were paid. Minus? Why minus? That's to sell and buy. Okay. 
Okay. Export limestone or import granite. Okay, so that's like our uh, objectives, I guess. We've got a message here. Oh, okay, is that it? Okay, nice one. Uh, right, so we've got food down. Yeah, we need a well. Um... Oh, hold on a sec. Can I only have a well down there? Maybe I've built them houses in, a, in the wrong position then. Try and put it as close as possible. Can I have it up here? But then that's not within the range of the houses. Yeah, so the bigger, the bigger circle... Oh, okay. Hang on a sec now. So let's uh, shut that down. Can I like... Yeah, there's a demolish... Hold on. Hold on, let's, let's start again. <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't realise, obviously, they got to be within a certain... Right, so the best thing then to do is probably put water down first. And then build around that. That can be like the centerpiece. So if we do a road. Do it like that. And maybe that can be the centerpiece of our housing. Uh, right, so that red is obviously the, the area that we can build in. So let's start with putting a couple of houses up here. Try turning these around a little bit. Just try and make it look a little bit different. Right, so people start coming in again. Right, interesting. So yeah, we need to try and build around the water really. All well, these new guys are coming in now. Okay, so then food is going to be of most, in, most importance as well. As you've got to see, that's got to be within an area of workers. That can be quite far out, I guess. don't know if we want to come down here, because obviously this is fertile land here. I don't know if it might be a good idea to come down a little bit. I want it quite close to here though. I don't want them to travel too far for the food. But I don't really want to build within this range either. So if we can keep that up. Have it just... Just out of it. There. And bring a road down. to it okay the water is going to be built oh wow so this is all the stuff that they're going to need okay excellent yeah so all this road can go can't it get some bread back I like the fact that you get your, your material. I don't know if you get all your materials back. I do like the fact you get some materials back for that. Can I just demolish? You can't just... Oh, I'll just demolish that road. My bad. Sorry. Add it back. Right, so the well is up. Nearly, I think. Nearly there. Okay. Let's get this built. We have got a speed up time, I think, yeah. There you go, so that. Oh, okay, so they've, they've automatically upgraded because they're in, in range of water. House level one, current and expected building desirability. 
Okay, so it looks like access to well. Alright, so now we need food. So we see this is being built, so that's nice. It doesn't give me a range. This doesn't give me a range for like uh That only gave me a range for the building, not... I think we're going to need this. Barley farm, weaver. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. I thought we were going to need a, like a storage water supply. Well, increases the level of culture required at the houses, okay. Faith buildings. Oh, there we go. A bazaar. I remember that now. Oh, hello. Production building is full. Each production building has two storage areas. If both are full, production stops, which means less output for the building and higher maintenance cost per unit. Make sure you have enough stockpile and plan your city so that workers do not have to walk too far to the building to collect goods. Alright, so we need a stockpile, which is here. That's freaking huge. Okay, I'm going to put a stockpile here. Okay, and let's put a road around it, because we can. Okay, so this is going to stockpile our food from here. Okay, thank you for that. Yeah, we'll just have whatever. Uh, I need one of these uh, bizarre things as well. Faith-related buildings, not that. Administrative, yeah. We need that. Distributes food to people. So we're sort of going to need that. We could have that here. I don't know if that's got to be in range of the food though, is it? Should we put that like here? That's actually a nice spot. Let's put that there. So that will distribute our meat. Got a stockpile. Architect's post reduces the chance of collapse of buildings in the building range. Okay. Fire station, police station. Monument. One of the mission. Oh, that's one of the mission objectives. There. That's thirty-two thousand food. Okay, so food is like currency here. Number of breads to be exchanged for work. Consider it a currency. Right. Okay. So, do we try start trying to get bread down then? Must be built on a floodplain. Uh, uncollected goods are destroyed by river flooding. Isn't there a way we could sort of do water? Increases the level of culture required. Requires a proper place to build. Um, I thought we could make a place like a floodplain. I could be wrong. I feel like we need to get quite a proper place to build. I don't think we're going to be able to do that. Well, we can, but all the way down there. Wow, okay, so... We can actually build all the way down here. Mate, yeah, this map is actually really huge. Holy hell. Fishing area there, got a fishing area there. Yeah, so we're sort of built probably too close to this wall, really. Probably ain't built in the best location there. Um okay, we'll make it work. So this should be stocking up. Should be stocking up meat, right? Effectiveness 100%, workers 12. Just not seeing nothing getting done though. No one seems to be working. Search. Search food in range. Maybe that's what we have to do. Turn that on. I don't 
Oh no, I can't remember this game. We need to, I feel like we need to make bread though. Any, any of this food. That's a wheat farm. We need to get a wheat farm going, man. It's too far away for people to... Where's all my people gone? Seven of seven, 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 seven. Seven, fourteen, twenty-one, twenty-eight. Ten. Oh wow, it takes a lot of people to work it. Okay, so that's that's twelve and ten. That's twenty-two. How many people have I got? Twenty-eight. Number of revenants. Twenty-eight. Okay, so we need more houses then. Due to an undesired neighbourhood, one of the houses cannot be upgraded. You can check their house information to see the current and required level of desirability. To increase the level of desirability, you can build buildings in its neighbourhood that have a good rating. This will compensate for the building with a bad rating. You can also try to rearrange the building so that the unwanted ones are as far away as possible. Okay. So what's the problem with it then? Low desirability. They're all low desirability, but why? Risk of fire is 80%. Is it because we haven't got any of this going? Look for, don't look for work. Yeah, look for work. Right, okay. Need more people, yeah, 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 come on. Now why are we not bringing in this meat? We've got a cattle here. It's not working or shut down. Effectiveness is 100%. I can see it there. Why is it not being brought here though? I've got 10 of 10 workers. Export. Collect. Am I, d I don't understand this. Carriers, none. Why? Are they like out of work range or something? Hmm. Should have maybe have done the tutorial again, huh? I've got zero of seven. What does that mean? As in, like free workers? Why is it red up here? I don't know what the plan is here. Obstacles, okay. So why are we not getting the meat? This is what I don't understand here. It says it's 100% effective. It says we've got two meat there, two of two. We've got 12 workers. Building is full. Right, I've got this up, stockpile. No carriers, but we've got 10 workers. I've got meat there, which I've got collect. This option to order the accumulated of stock. That option is enable the build will only accept the goods and will not allow you to do anything else with them. This option disables enables the export of this resources. I really don't know what's going on here. 
I'm a little confused. I don't know what this red is. Why does this red come up all of a sudden? I want to build a farm down here, but I don't think it's within range of people working. Zero of six. I can't build that. I think I've built in a bad spot again. I should have built down here. I should I should have come further down probably. Probably messed up. These are near a well, so it's good. But then in terms of food, no, not so good. Low desirability. Holy hell! That's going like here or something. I just haven't got the bread for it. Holy jeez! Statue got it. Increases level of desirability. Oh, a whole hold on a minute. Hold on now. Plant some trees then. Okay, a little bit more desirable now. You know? Minus four. House minus 15. Current and expected building. Yeah, this, this, I don't know, like I said, maybe I should have gone through like a tutorial or something, but I should have gone through probably scenario one again. I just don't, I don't understand any of it. I don't know what's going on. Like, this is not working. That's not working. People are not getting food. I don't know, maybe it's me. Maybe I'm the dum dum. But uh, that's definitely possible. Building required for monument construction. Okay, police station, fire station. I think we definitely need like a fire station because things are about to set on fire. So I'm going to put one of them there and I'm going to put a police station down as well. Probably the opposite side here. Risk of collapse, that's another building. Uh, architect post. Okay, we need some more houses. We put that there and then put a little road in this way okay then some more people coming in which is nice you can find a job there's plenty of jobs I don't like this city unemployment effect rating of the city tax rate Wage rate effect. Okay. I mean, I don't really like the city either at the moment because I can't figure out what's going on. I don't want to farm. I need, I feel like I need something else. Has an unlimited range by default. This can be changed in the building options. Must be connected by road to the production building. It is though here. I just don't I don't understand it because we've got no carriers here and I don't understand why. It's very very strange. It's every, every, yeah, I was gonna say every risk of disease, 88. Can we get like a. Um, a healing building? Carpenter, police station, fire station, architect, post, stockpile, granary. Collect and source food. 
Oh. Is this what we needed for the food? I'm guessing this is the... But yeah, it says you can store food in here, though. Oh, yes, it's the food one, you idiot. Oh, my life, man. Uh, it says food in here, though. Why is it giving me the icon for food in here? Unless that's just for, like, exporting. Maybe it comes here if, you, if you're selling it. Oh, my days, man. Right, so then... Yeah, so then it should... Yeah, right, okay. So then you need the food, and then you need a granary for the food. And then the, that gets sent to the, the bazaar, and then people pick up the food. From the bazaar, I think. It's like a shop, I guess. Okay, so this is more, I guess, for, like, materials... Okay, I still need a health building, though. I'm not seeing one, though. Maybe there is no health building, and maybe it's just a case of uh, keeping people fed and stuff, and then it will go down. Low desirability. I don't know how to get that desirability up. I mean, I sort of do, but I'm guessing with these... Like a little gardening or something. I don't know why the house is minus nineteen for. I don't. I don't get that. Yeah, the food's going pretty quick. Uh, I'm not seeing food popping up here, though. Is in like we're having meat. Oh, well, they've got meat. These two closest ones have got meat. Access to entertainment. Okay, so that's definitely not enough food then. We need more food. Yeah, it takes a long time. So we're going to need more food and everything like that. Right, guys. Unfortunately, though, I have run out of time. That was a lot of fumbling around there. But obviously, I'm just sort of trying to learn the game again. Like I said, it's been nearly three and a half years since we played it. Um, so, yeah, obviously, we need to try and get bread up. I don't know if bread... I don't know if it actually has to be bread or whether it has to be... Um, just food in general, I don't know. I'm guessing it has to be bread. If it has to be bread, we're pretty screwed, because that's a wheat farm. Which we need to make down here, but we've got no workers in range for it. What do we need as well? Is that... Yes, workers. Yeah, so we've probably built in a bad spot there. Um, but like I said, unfortunately, that is going to do it for this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, though. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe for me if you haven't already. Uh, both the likes and subscribes really do help the channel out massively guys so if you could show your support man I'd really really appreciate it uh, if you guys would like to get in touch with me in the description down below is all my contact details so you go check it all out uh, if you guys would like to hit that notification bell as well then you guys will get notified when we upload a video or when we live stream as well very handy little tool indeed and uh, yeah until the next time have a good one stay safe out there peace out